Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's forecast and spiritual insights for Monday the 20th of July through to Sunday the 26th of July 2020. As we move into this week, we are moving into the new moon in Cancer. This will be on the 20th of July or in the Southern Hemisphere, 3 a.m. ish on the 21st of July. So Cancer brings to us a lot of emotion, a lot of sensitivity. And you know, perhaps you've already been experiencing that in this past week in the lead up to this new moon. And what we're really being asked to do is focus our attention on grounding. Grounding our energy, our hearts and our minds into this amazing, beautiful planet, our great mother. Earth, Lady Gaia, whatever name that you have for the planet on which we are blessed to call our homes. It's about aligning ourselves to what is important to us and What's really come to me today is the question or asking the question, where in your life are you out of alignment with your values? So what are your values in relationship? There's so many people that I work with and speak to that don't often check in with what their values are. What are your values in family? What are your values in work? What are your values in how you experience your life? Some examples for relationship, your values in relationship could be trust and compassion and love. Love needs to be a value. So many people don't have love as a value in their relationships. In your workplace, what, what is the value in which you want to align yourself with? What are your values in how people should be treated? how, you know, transparency, again, honesty, alignment to the values of the services that your workplace provides to the community or whether that's not community-based. Perhaps you're, you have grown to a point where you are actually no longer in alignment. Your values no longer align with the relationship that you're in or the relationships that you have in your friendship circles or you, the values that you now have are no longer in alignment with the values of the company that you work for. It's important for us to reassess our values so that we can redefine our tomorrow. So if you assess your values or reassess your values today in a particular situation, or a particular area in your life and then discover that, hang on a minute, these behaviors are not in alignment with my values, where we're headed are no longer in alignment with my values. So how can I redefine my values and align myself to those? And that may be through discussions, setting healthy boundaries, having open and loving communication or reassessing where you see yourself in the future in your workplace. And by doing that, you're actually opening up the doorway to have a different experience in your tomorrow. Now, this doesn't take away from we should always be present and being more present in the moment. And this is what the Cancer New Moon is really asking us to do as well is to surrender that all is well. But that doesn't mean we surrender and no longer are in alignment with our values. So looking at things in the way of how can I create a more peaceful and harmonious home environment? How can I establish a peaceful environment within my own self, my own body, my own experience? Because what we experience internally, and I've experienced this myself, you know, when I was first starting out with meditation and I would light some candles in my home, I switched off the TV a long time ago now, played relaxing music and I meditated regularly and I found that obviously that emitted 
the frequency that I was experiencing in my own body into the energy field of my home. And so people would walk into my home and they'll just go, oh, it's so relaxing and calming in here. It's so peaceful in here. And it really had a positive flow on effect to my teenage children at that time. So when you are present and aligned to your values, aligned to your heart, aligned to your soul, grounded to Mother Earth, and just really focusing your attention on what is happening in this moment, what, what is here in this moment that I can experience, what is here for me. And in doing that, what happens is it opens up the flow of life, the energy of life, the universe brings to you the experiences that are most aligned to your highest good. Now that doesn't mean we don't take action, but we then take inspired action. If I'm being present in this moment, if I'm surrendering my fears, my worries, my concerns, or my hopes and dreams for the future to the universe and focusing my intention and attention on maintaining a sense of a peace and harmony and alignment, then opportunities will show up for you tomorrow that support the experience that you're having today. And so then it's a natural progression of moving forward rather than feeling as though you are pushing against the flow of life to force and create something that feels hard or a struggle or that you have to work at it and I have to make this happen. That is actually coming from the ego mind. That's coming from your own will. So when you are surrendering and focusing your attention on self-care, creating and nurturing loving relationships, creating and nurturing a peaceful and harmonious home environment, and letting go of situations or people or beliefs that are no longer serving you. So letting them go. What can you release today? And, and also in the lead up to this new moon, what is it that you can release? A belief, a thought, a something from your past that's, that's holding you back. How can you release that? And do you want to release that? And if you do, then create your own beautiful ritual, light a candle, play some beautiful music, have your favorite crystals around and write down those things that keep coming up for you and ask what is there for me to learn in this situation? How have I grown from this situation? And then I now release this to you and whatever language you want to use, Mother Earth, Divine Mother, Father God, to the angels, your own guides, whatever you want to use, whatever relationship you've already built with your higher power. And then release that then to them. And you can do that in the physical form of burying that into the earth or you can burn it. But say thank you for all that you have taught me and shown me about myself and this life so far that I have led, led and lived. All right. So I hope that that serves you well. It's really about being gentle, taking time for self care, surrendering, being present and grounding as much as you can every day. Okay. So for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. Spiritual abundance. This is about what are the experiences in your life that you have around you and already experienced that show up for you. So what ways does spiritual abundance show up for you? For me, it's when I go into meditation and I feel the energy of the beautiful divine mother, the divine father surround me, my guardian angels. For me, it's when I look out the window and I can see nature. You know, I'm gazing out the window at trees and I love to connect with nature. 
when I'm doing any form of work or self-reflection or just wanting to feel that sense of alignment and connection. There is an abundance of nature around to support you and me in experiencing that sense of connectedness. What is it that you already have in your life that you feel incredibly grateful and abundant for? Your children, your family members, your partner, the relationships that you have, your friends, your workplace. You know, we have so much already to feel abundant for. A roof over our heads, food on the table, running hot water and electricity. We are so blessed. We are also incredibly blessed to have access to what, to, to have the freedom and the safety to ask the question, well, what does spirituality mean for you? You know, what does connecting to the universe mean for you? What does God, Goddess mean for you? Source, all that is. You literally have at the tips of your fingertips an infinite amount of potential and accessibility to explore spirituality, the energy of life, the energy of nature, the energy of love. And so by focusing your intention and attention on blessing those experiences that you are already having in your life, it will open the doorway and the flow for that to increase in its infinite abundance. Thursday and Friday. Trustworthy friends. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. So you're being asked on Thursday and Friday to acknowledge those people that you have around you who love and accept you for who you are, who support you. Who are the people that you can call on when you really need them the most? And who are those people that you will be there for when they need you the most? In a time on this planet when it's so easy to feel that we cannot trust our bodies, our immune systems, our governments, information, media, there's so much mistrust around us at the moment that we're being asked to focus our attention on what we can trust. Who are those people that you already have around you that you can trust? And our hearts, we can trust the wisdom and the guidance of our hearts and of the beautiful angelic beings that love and support us, our loved ones in spirit. So focus your attention on those that you have around you and situations around you where you can feel safe and that you know that you can trust those that love you and spend more time with them. And this could also be a call to you to reassess if there are people in your life that you know don't have your back and that you don't really trust them, then perhaps this is an opportunity for you to be reassessing your values in your friendships and letting go of perhaps there are situations or people that you can let go of or limit your time spent with them because it doesn't actually serve your highest good. And thanking the beautiful angelic realm and the universe for revealing to you or bringing into your life those people that you can trust if you don't feel that you already have them. Saturday and Sunday, Spirit Animal. Thank you, Animal Kingdom, for blessing my path with love. This has been coming up a bit in a lot of the work that I've been doing lately. And this is because we have, some of you may have pets that you feel a, an infinite unconditional love coming to you from them and you feel it for them. There is perhaps a particular animal that you feel drawn to. And when you see this animal, it may be a butterfly, it could be a bird, it could be anything. And when you see that, or you see an image of it, or you see it in real life, you know instantly that the universe and mother nature is communicating with you and that there is support there for you. And what if that spirit animal, what is your favorite spirit animal? And what is the medicine that they can bring to you to support you this week? 
in moving forward in wherever you are at right now. So I hope that these messages serve you well. This really is a time for us to be literally taking one day at a time. Let's just focus our attention on today. What is it that I can bring to today? How can I create more harmony and peace for today? Who are the people that I can connect with today that I trust and value, who I know have my back? And how can I bring in that sense of gratitude for all that I am and all that I have today? Namaste, blessed be. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourself. See you next week. Bye.